What is going on, everybody? We are talking today about the king of crypto, Bitcoin. And I'm going to give you my estimate for the end of 2024, where I think Bitcoin is going to be. Now, uh, if you haven't followed me before, uh, then go back and look. But we've predicted pretty well exactly what's going to happen with Bitcoin and where it's going to go, where it will end up. My prediction before the halving is 50,000. Uh, that may have sounded a little crazy to you two, three months ago. Doesn't seem so crazy now. Um, the fact that six months ago, uh, 30,000, uh, you would have told me that I'm crazy. But here we are. So um, I implore you, if you like the content, go back, uh, like, subscribe, you know, do all the things. But we're talking Bitcoin liquidity. We're talking Bitcoin protections right now. So what I wanted to say is the average liquidity of Bitcoin right around now, uh, it's about 22% now that will gain or lose give or take. But the important thing to that is to remember that 22% when you're getting this estimate of where we're going to. Go. So what I want to do is I want to show you some charts. Again, if you haven't already hit the like button, the subscribe button, bell to be notified. And let me know what your prediction is for Bitcoin in the upcoming bull run, which I mean, basically it's already started, but April 26, 2024 is when we're looking at the halving date. That usually creates a, a supply drain that causes a price crunch and it causes a skyrocketing. So leave your uh, leave your estimate down here and I will let you know what mine is. Uh, if you want, you can skip forward down here at the bottom. Uh, there's a link that's going to tell you what the actual prediction is. But um, what we're looking at is pretty simple here. All right, guys, here's the chart right now. You can see I've got this grayed out with uh all right guys here's the chart right now what i've got outlined are all of the marks that will tell you when the halvings have taken place that was monday uh that it was july of 2016 may of 2020 and it's coming again in april of 2024 i've highlighted the end of 2024 because that's where the analysis and that blue bubble right there that's going to represent where i think it's going to go and i'll reveal that in just a little while but I made a few lines here this is not exact science. It never is. But again, 22% was the liquidity number. Really maintains that with a high volume of liquidity. And I want to point out in 2016, I want to take a couple of things here to point out to you. And you can see this big move that happened right here. And I moved this right here because this is around where uh, the halving took place. And we got a nice little run. Now that represented roughly 200%. This, this move from here to here, around 200%. 160, 170, uh, but this move right here from the halving until um, the end of the year, really only about 40%. So we didn't have that big lift, but it came a little bit later on because it started to spike in January. Now, I do think <coughs> that we will have a nice spike in January, but for right now, we're concentrating on uh, the end of December of 2024. So uh, we had that big move. Now, we're going to flash forward to the next halving cycle. And in the next halving cycle, uh, it, we were coming out of COVID. There was, uh, I, you know, I want to say that this probably would have pumped a little bit higher had we not seen that in COVID. But I also want you to understand that when I say that, I say that without really thinking this through. My initial reaction is and has always been that, you know, perhaps we would have done a little bit better had we... Um, had we not gone through COVID, but this run right here was partially the result of a mad liquidity injection into the markets, the United States turning on money printers, printing money basically uh, to satisfy the needs of everybody who then used that money because they didn't really need it as much as we would like to think. And they used it for investment purposes and got in on a Bitcoin pump or whatever cryptocurrency pump. But uh, that move right here, 300%. Now, money printers, I, I do think are coming back on. So that leads us to right now. Now, uh, I've got a prediction here. Basically, we're going to go to 50,000 before the halving. Probably going to look something like the previous ones where we have this without this dip here. Uh, but we're going to see you know, where we are right about now. We'll see a little pump. Uh, we'll see a little sideways action for a while. Uh, over here, same thing. We'll see a little pump and we'll a little sideways action leading into it. So uh, we're going to get that 50,000 right around uh, I, I want to say in a couple of months, we'll get the uh, Bitcoin ETFs and it'll pump it up to 50. Then I think we're going to have a mini altcoin season. We won't have the impetus to get up to the all-time high. We'll need the halving 
to do that, I think the chart's going to look a little something uh, like this right here. We get into this range. We come back down uh, for a, a, a small or minor retest, uh, probably right around here at 38,000. So, you know, a small retest. And then we're off to the races. And then we're off to the all-time high, which will trigger another altcoin season, a much bigger altcoin season. And then we're going to have a massive spike and a massive, right? So that's what I think is going to happen. Now, uh, with that being the case, the goal that I have for the year is right here. What is going on, everybody? I'm here to follow up with you about Cryptonomy.Finance. Now, guys, you saw the previous video where we staked in our flexible account some Bitcoin. Uh, we've earned 0 0.0004 Bitcoin so far off an APY of 24 Point seven two. Now, yesterday I went in and I staked just a little bit more and I did it on the fixed right now uh, in this uh, uh, profit sharing right here. Uh, I'll get you the results of that coming up very, very soon. But I wanted to talk today about this launch pool. So the launch pool, this is where the quote unquote rubber hits the road for cryptonomy.finance. These are the past events that have happened. And these are the yields that you've seen up here. You've seen 4Xs, uh, 12X, 20X. Uh, there's a 394 Shiba Saga, if you remember that one a couple months ago. Sparta Dex 8X, Kryptonite 5.4X, Sophieverse 8X, 15X. All of these are in the green so far. 207 from Pose Swap. So what we're going to do is we can take some positions in these projects here. Uh, this is a little bit more profitable. This is going to be uh, this is going to be the big thing. So uh, we're going to come over here to the launch pad, and this flagship product ensures maximum profit and security. Uh, there's going to be, and by the way, what you're going to have in these upcomings, you're going to have some um, uh, statistics that you're going to be able to to look at and, and check out. So what we're going to do uh, is we're going to click the create a contract button, and we're going to select the bronze plan. OK, um, and then we're going to deposit all of it. We're just going to put a max one right in here. That's 0.48 Bitcoin. Uh, that's guys, forgive me while I take a breath here. Uh, we're going to take that. We're going to put the whole thing into it. Uh, we're going to do this right here and we're going to create that. Now we are in this pool. When we get the yields, when we get the returns, once we get approved for this and once these things start launching, we have 17,800 invested into this and we will see how this builds, how this runs, how this goes. Uh, I am super excited about it. Also, whew, uh, let's see what happens. We'll talk to you again. 90,000 for the end of 2024. So guys, 90,000 by the end of 2024 seems to be all encompassing. It will include about 66 billion to 70 billion uh, being entered from the 5% of the gold market is probably what we're looking at, what most estimates are saying at this point. Because the one thing to remember about ETFs is that they're going to sell them to their people, but this is a risk on asset and people aren't going to be ready for that risk. So we're going to go with about 5% of the total value locked of gold, which is about 66, 70 billion. Adding that into this market would propel Bitcoin with a normal run. And get us to about 90,000. Now, uh, we're going to come back for the 2025 prediction. Uh, I'll give you something for the entire bull run a little bit later on. But for right now, $90,000 Bitcoin is my projection for the end of 2020. Thank you for tuning in. Again, if you like the content, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell to be notified, and leave a comment down below letting me know what your prediction is. Do you think 90,000 is right? Do you think 90,000 is wrong? Let me know what you think down below. This is not financial advice. My name is Please. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll talk to you again very, very soon.